What if I told you the smartest developers I've worked with don't just code better, they think differently. And no, it's not just about technical skills. It's something deeper, something almost counterintuitive. Today, I'll share three game-changing lessons that completely transform the way I code. These lessons, they could do the same for you. Lesson one, the importance of testing, even for small features. Let's talk about a lesson I learned from Nova Miller, a sharp, uh, detail-oriented backend developer. Nova once told me, never write a feature without a test case, no matter how small it is. He was talking about things like third-party API integrations, tiny features that might seem too small to test. At the time, I thought the feature was just a few lines, so we didn't need a test. But sure enough, that small oversight led to a major bug in production, costing me hours. That's when it hit me. Nova was right. Lesson two, don't be afraid to ask for help. There was a machine learning engineer who had a surprising insight on asking for help. She told me, never hesitate to get help when you need it from anyone who can provide it. Then she added, when you ask a nice person for help, they'll either assist you or they won't, but they're never going to think less of you. I used to think asking for help might make me seem weak, but she made me realize that's just a limiting belief. So many people are more than willing to lend a hand. All it takes is the courage to reach out. Lesson learned, if you're stuck, don't hold back. Help is often just a question away. Lesson three, debugging strategy for precision. Here's where it gets really interesting. A secret to debugging from a software architect who owns a $250 million company. He once told me, if you want to double your coding efficiency, master the art of debugging. He had a four-step process for debugging. Here's where most of us get it wrong. Instead of jumping to fix a bug as soon as we read the error message, he taught me that the first step is to locate the exact line causing the issue. The temptation to dive into fixing is strong, but if you don't locate the true source, you risk fixing the wrong thing. Once you've found the error line, examine it closely. Sometimes the issue is in another part of the code, so don't just change the first thing you see. Finally, when you understand both the problem and its source, you can start fixing it, either by your understanding or even using tools like ChatGPT.